Hey guys, R. Pelton 1 here with just a quick little update on my REI quarter dome air hammock. I'm at the cabin here. Um, it's right at the end of September and I uh, slept in this last night and it worked really well. But uh, I've taken this on quite a few trips so far. I, I've taken it on canoeing trips, backpacking trips, and it's it's worked out very well in the long run. Once I figured out how to s suspend this thing, you know, the correct tension and the correct angles and everything like that. Once I got that figured out, I slept extremely well in this. Uh, I am trying out a new rain fly, or a tarp I should say. It's a Winganeer 10x10 tarp I found on Amazon. It's got the catenary cuts on it, ripstop, sill poly nylon. You know, it packs down really well. Uh, I made all the guy lines and tensioners for it, and I configured it to where it kind of has doors in the, you know, connected with just a little bungee here. Uh, it is supposed to rain tonight, so I'm going to see if this offers me a little bit better protection than the stock uh, rain fly that the, the hammock comes with. However, the stock rain fly that came with this hammock, I've had in, in some severe downpours, and it hasn't failed me. I've stayed high and dry, and it's been awesome. This one closes a little bit, like I said, with the door, so hopefully it keeps in a little bit of heat. But I've had, I've slept down to, you know, 32, 34 degrees, something like that. Last night it got down to 39 degrees, and I was completely fine in it. Uh, I am rocking the uh, the under quilt that REI designed with this and I'll do a review on this in just a little bit but this is supposed to be good down to 30 degrees as well but this underquilt is really sweet and I got a little a little gear sling down here too just to hold stuff up to keep that uh, off the ground so I'm just experimenting experimenting with some things and you know it, it's worked really really well so far so uh, it's supposed to rain tonight uh, up here at my cabin so I'm gonna try this new tent this new tarp configuration, excuse me, and see if that keeps me as dry, if not um, a little drier than the, the the stock rain fly that this comes with. It does come down way more on the bottom here, but it falls a little short on the side, so I'm hoping I don't get any any driving rain coming in this way because it's six inches shorter on this side, six inches shorter on the other side as well. But but here's my quick little update for you. I'll do reviews on the under quilt and the gear sling and just some of the other uh, gear items I've been using. But uh, um, got a big trip coming up in Maine next week where I'm taking this guy on a big canoeing trip on the Allagash Waterway. And that'll be a trip video and I'll do some gear reviews um, on, a, on that as well. So, But I really appreciate you watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Get out there, have some fun. Thanks.